L'chaim, l'chaim. Today is the holy day of Lagba Omer. Lagba Omer means the 33rd day of the counting of the Omer between Passover and Shavuot. It's a very special day, a holy day. It's a day that marks the passing of the great sage and mystic Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai. Around the world, right now, there are parades. Jewish pride parades, Jewish unity parades with colorful floats and experiences by kids. There are bonfires, dancing, joy around the world. Who is this Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai and why are people celebrating his passing today? Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai lived in the land of Israel in the second century. He was a great mystic and a great teacher. He was a disciple of Rabbi Akiva, famous Rabbi Akiva, who authored so much of the Mishnah. Rabbi Akiva's, one of the major teachings of Rabbi Akiva was, Avat Yisrael, love your neighbor as yourself, says Rabbi Akiva, is a paramount rule of the whole Torah. And Rabbi Shimon embodied that. And Rabbi Shimon led and shepherded his people with great love and care. He was a difficult time in the land of Israel. At that time, the Romans had persecuted the Jewish people, conquered the land of Israel, and were giving them a hard time. Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai himself had to flee because he had a death sentence over his head because he spoke out against the Romans who had mercilessly murdered his beloved teacher, Rabbi Akiva. But Rabbi Shimon but wasn't deterred. Rabbi Shimon was happy. He was always positive. In fact, because of his speaking out, he had to run away and he had to hide in a cave for 13 years. When he emerged, he was emaciated and broken in body. But spirit, he was joyful and he told his people, I'm glad this happened to me because I became even deeper and more spiritual, more connected and more loving. Rabbi Shimon was the one who authored the Holy Zohar, the basic book and teachings of the Kabbalah Jewish mysticism, which teaches us how to access our own soul, how to look deeper inside ourselves, how to find a deeper connection to Almighty God, how to be less selfish, more selfless, more spiritual. On the day of his passing, Rabbi Shimon gathered a few of his students, his star students, disciples, and his son, and he told them, I feel I have accomplished the most today. I have ascended to the heights. I am most connected and deeply connected to Almighty God. And today I'm going to pass away. But don't be worried. We're going to sit down now and I'm going to teach you things that I never taught you before in the most deepest secrets of the Torah, the greatest map of the the heavens above. And Rabbi Shimon gathered them and he taught them. And as he was teaching them, he came to the words, You who cleave to God are alive. When he said the word Chayim, life, his soul departed from him. His disciples were very upset. They cried, but they remembered their teacher saying they should be happy and and joyous. He left a legacy. Rabbi Shimon left a legacy of spirituality, holiness, conviction, joy, and many other teachings. And today we celebrate that. It's a day of miracles. It's a day of blessings. It's a day of connection to our fellow Jew. Raise your cups. Wish the best for yourself. Wish the best for others. May you have a very, very meaningful, happy Lag Ba'omer. L'chaim.